Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, we did two D shapes or plane shapes, correct? So, in today's class, we'll be learning what are solid shapes. So, before that, let's learn what we have uh, studied already in this chapter, that is lines and shapes. So, we studied some basic geometry, right? So, what is that? We studied what is a point. So, what is a point? A point is nothing but gives you a Position. Okay, you can represent it by any of the capital alphabet letters. Okay, so here point gives a position. Then we studied what is a line segment. So a line segment is nothing but it has two end points. Okay, and you can measure its line a length. The length is nothing but it is the distance between the two end points. Okay, it has a specific length and it can and you can measure that and it has two endpoints which is called as a line segment so here you represent a line segment with two letters with their two endpoints so here a and b are the two endpoints so we represent it as a b with a line on top okay then we saw what is a ray what's a ray a ray is nothing but it is a line seg it is a line segment which has one endpoint okay a ray has one endpoint and you can extend it on the other side for however long you want. So here a ray has one endpoint. You cannot measure its length. Okay, and it is denoted like this. So the endpoint is written first. So endpoint here is C, and then D, and after that it extends on one side. So we'll draw a one-sided arrow mark on top. Then we have line. What's a line? A line is nothing but it has no endpoints. You cannot measure its uh, length, and at the arrow at both the ends indicate that the line can be extended to any length on both the sides. Okay, so they are named E and F. So you can write E F and draw a uh, arrow at both ends of the line on top. Okay, so this is point, line segment, ray, and line. Then we saw types of lines. So what are the types of lines? You have straight line or curved line. Okay. So this is a straight line. This is a curved line. This last figure represents both straight and curved lines. Then we thought types of straight line. Which are types of straight line? Horizontal, vertical and slanting line. Horizontal lines are nothing but they are sleeping lines. Vertical lines, uh, vertical lines are standing lines. And the lines which ne are neither horizontal nor vertical are called as slanting lines. So here PQ represents horizontal line, RS is a vertical and LM is a slanting line. Okay, then we saw what are closed figures and open figures in the last class. Closed figures, what are closed figures? The, they are, see, we have studied different shapes, right? Rectangle, square, circle and so on. So, they are closed figures as they enclose a region within their boundaries. So, when a shape encloses a region within their boundaries, then it is called as a closed figure. Then, the figures that do not completely close a region are called as open figures. So, here these two represent open figures. Okay, then we saw what is a plane surface and a curved surface. Okay, so Plane surf, uh, now surfaces can be either plane or they can be curved. So wall for an example is a plane surface. A book is an example for your plane surface. Okay, so whenever you can place your palm flat over any surface without bending your palm or your fingers, then it is called as a plane surface. Okay, but same way when you are trying to hold your water bottle, you cannot place it uh, flatly on the bottle right or else it will fall so you have to bend your fingers to hold the bottle so if you cannot uh, keep so when you cannot place your hand flatly on in a surface and you need to bend it then it is called as a curved surface so we have two kinds of surfaces plane surface and curved surface then we learned the different shapes so we have triangles Triangle has three vertices. It has three sides. Uh, triangle does not have any diagonal. Okay. 
and some special features of triangle are that the plane it is a plane closed figure with three straight edges okay it is a plane closed figure then we study what's a rectangle so number of vertices in a rectangle is four number of sides also is four and then number of diagonals is two and in a rectangle opposite sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal okay so we have a length and breadth in a rectangle lengths are equal and the two breadths are equal then we have a square now a square has four sides correct it has four vertices and the number of diagonals in a square are two here all the sides of a square are equal okay and the diagonals are also equal okay then circle now circle has zero vertices it has zero sides and it has zero diagonals and it is a plane closed figure with a curved edge a circle is something which has a curved edge whereas triangle rectangle and sphere uh, square have all straight edges okay so circle is a plane figure with a closed or a curved edge all right so this was all about what we have learned up till the last class correct so in today's class we'll study what are solid shapes so we we have seen that plane shapes have length and breadth okay but so we say because it has length and breadth that is two dimension so we call it as a two dimensional or a 2d shapes okay but most of the time we come across shapes that have length breadth and thickness so how many uh, dimensions did we count now length one breadth two and thickness three so that is three dimensions so su such shapes are called as 3d solid shapes or three dimensional shapes so we will learn about some regular 3d shapes so we have cube cuboids we have sphere right then we also have cone and cylinder okay so first we'll learn what are cuboids and cubes the cuboids and cubes have solid figures that have plane surfaces okay they are solid figures that have plane surfaces so here first one this represents a cuboid so the box of a toothpaste all right or this brick represent a cuboid so here the corners okay as you see the corners this is called as a vertex and this surface is called as a face and these are called as the edges okay so here these are the edges so this is one edge okay this this is one edge this is one edge so these are all the edges of a cuboid and the dotted lines here that you see are the edges that are behind okay so since you cannot see entire uh, cuboid from the front uh, all the edges at the same time they have given you dotted lines okay so here the corners or a place where three edges meet is called as a vertex then the plane surface is called as a face then and the straight uh, sides or are called as edges okay so this is a cuboid so a cuboid has six faces okay it has six faces it has eight vertex and it has 12 edges so we'll come that to that later again then we have a cube okay so the surfaces are called as cube or uh, faces then again the these corners are called as vertex and these are the edges here these dotted lines are also edges so this is how a cube looks like it has all square faces okay all the faces of a cube are square and all the faces of a cuboid are rectangular in shape so a dice or a rubik's cube is an example for cuboids then we have spheres so uh, your balls oranges these are all spheres a sphere is a solid shape that has only one curved surface. So sphere has only one curved surface. It doesn't have any vertex. It doesn't have any edge. Okay, it has only one curved surface. Then we have a cylinder. A cylinder has two plane and one curved surface. So cylinder is something which has two plane surfaces and one curved surface. 
for example is a pencil a drum or your gas cylinders okay so this is a cylinder and this is a circular plane surface at both the ends this is one and here you have one more and this is the curved surface okay it doesn't have any ed uh, edges or any vertices then an ice cream cone or a cone basically so a cone has one vertex here at the top then it has one curved surface and it has one plane surface so a solid cone has one plane surface and one curved surface so examples for cones are ice cream cones or birthday caps okay so these are the different 3d shapes that we are going to learn then so we saw that a 3d shape is a solid object that has three dimensional that is length width and height or thickness so these are the different 3d shapes cube cuboid sphere prism is also a different kind of a 3d shape than pyramids cones and cylinders so a cuboid or first let's see a cube a cube has six faces it has eight vertices and 12 edges so examples for cubes are dice ice cubes or rubik's cube and there are many other examples for a cube then coming to cuboid a cuboid also has six faces it also has eight vertices and 12 edges okay so a matchbox is an example for a cuboid and a fish tank or an aquarium is an example for a cuboid then your compass box is an example for a cuboid then coming to cone it has one curved surface we saw that and one plain circular base okay it has uh, one vertice so examples for cones are ice cream cones or birthday caps or the traffic cones then cylinder it has one curved surface and two circular bases okay it doesn't have any vertices so your soft drinks or uh, tins then batteries battery is cylindered in shape and all your gas cylinders are cylindrical in shape then a sphere what is a sphere now a sphere has only one curved surface so it doesn't have any straight edges or any vertices right so all your planets are spherical in shape then balls all right then oranges these are all examples of sphere okay So this is a pyramid okay it has triangle uh, sides and a square base okay so examples are pyramids of uh, egypt or a tent looks like a pyramid so but mainly we'll be studying cuboid cube cylinder cone and sphere so how many surfaces does cuboid have it has six plane faces a cube also has six plane faces cylinder has three total three faces two plane and one curved what about cone cone has two surfaces one plane and one curved surface what about sphere it has only one curved surface and then number of edges so cuboid has 12 straight edges a cube has also 12 straight edges a cylinder has two curved edges okay that is the circular base that is there that are the two curved edges okay, let me show you okay so here what you see on top this is one curved edge and at the bottom you'll have one more curved edge okay then a cone has one curved edge that is a circular or uh, the plane surface that's there on the bottom that has one curved edge and the sphere has no edges the number of vertices cuboid has eight vertices cube has eight vertices a cylinder has no vertices a cone has one vertex and sphere has no vertices again then some special features cuboid is plain uh, plain faces are rectangle okay all the plain faces on a cuboid are rectangles on square the plain faces are squares then in cylinder plain faces are circles and curved surface cannot be traced on a sheet okay then uh, cone plain surface is a circle again and for a sphere you cannot trace any curved surface because it is curved you cannot trace it on a straight sheet okay so these are some 
features of the solid shapes. Now let's solve a few questions on this. So page number 147 in your books. So name the following shapes. What is the first shape here? It is a jar. Okay, it is an olive jar. So how does it look? What is it looks like a cylinder, correct? So it has two plane surfaces, one at top and one at the bottom and one curved surface. So it is a cylinder. So you write it here, cylinder, C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R, cylinder. Then we have the shape. What is this shape? It is a Rubik's cube, correct? So you can write cube over here, C-U-B-E, cube. Then we have a box. What is the shape of this box now? This box has all square surfaces, correct? So it is again a cube. So C U B E cube. Then the football. Which shape is a football? Sphere. Correct. So S P H E. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll do that again. So first one is a cylinder. Then second one is a cube. Third one, the box is also a cube. So, and the next one, football. Football is a sphere. So, S P H E R E, sphere. Then we have woolen yarn balls, right? So, what shape are they? Ball shape. That is again sphere. So, S P H E R E. Then, I think it is a soap bar. So, what shape it is? It's cuboid. It has rectangular surfaces. So, cuboid. Okay, C U B O. ID cuboid okay so next one who uh, who am i i have only one curved surface with no edges or vertices so it says that it has only one curved surface it has no edges and no vertices so which shape it is it's a sphere sphere is the only one with one curved surface then i have two plane surfaces and one curved surface so which uh, solid shape has two curved surface as two plane surfaces and one curved surface it is a cylinder so write cylinder over here then i have six square faces so which is a solid shape with six square faces it's a cube so c u b e cube then la next one i have 12 straight edges and at least two faces are rectangular since two faces are rectangle and there are 12 straight edges, it means it's a cuboid. So, C-U-B-O-I-D, cuboid. Then last one, I have one vertex and two surfaces. So, which is the solid shape with only one vertex? It is a cone, correct? So, C-O-N-E, cone. Okay, so this was solid shapes. Then here, question please have to look around at your home and give one example for each of the solid shapes. Study done So for your homework, what you do? Take a uh, pen. Uh, sorry, take a paper and pencil. Do one work. Make a table. Write cube, cuboids. Then you can write uh, cone, sphere, and cylinder. And go around your house and see which shape does different object have. For example, you can write uh, a you have uh, boxes right in which you store different types of grains steel boxes so those are normally cylinder in shape so you can write that under cylinder or you can also if you have uh, okay so uh, as they've given you an example for a bar so a soap bar is cuboid in shape so you can write soap under cuboid so you can see so many other things around your house you can see and write which shape it is okay so do that for your homework and in the next class we'll start with a new topic all right thank you students i'll see you all in the next